Alrighty, I don't know if I'm live yet. Make sure everything's working. So, because now I hear the echo. Alright, nice. We are live for the first time in a long time. Everything's been pretty crazy this year. So, hope you guys are enjoying your kind of vacation, but not vacation. So, let me get this up on my other screen and get started. Why doesn't it not show me the live stream? I just wanted to see the chat. I don't need to hear this at all. Might just be me and you, Mr. M. <laughs> it's all good though. All right, so this is Dual Universe. We'll make for maybe a good video later. Uh, so this is Dual Universe. It's a massively multiplayer game. It's like a basically sci-fi building PVP game. Uh, so, the ground is all voxel based, uh, so, for instance, I don't want to destroy my, my beautiful land here, but this is a, a mine I dug, you know, just a little, little hole like uh, Minecraft would be, and you can pick up the voxel, okay, it's turned on, so I can collect some of this here. I don't need it right now, but just to show you, so everything's voxel based. And then you can, um, you can kind of build with it too. And then there's different tools to smooth it out and whatever. Do I have these tools? The smooth voxel tool. Let me see. Nope. Okay. I don't know how to smooth it out yet, but there's tools for that. I don't really care right now. Um, and then you can build just freely like this, but you have to be on. Uh, you have to have like a core. So it's kind of noisy in here, but there's something. This is a core, and this is a small one. They got bigger ones. They got really, really big ones. Uh, I'll be on for uh, like an hour at least. I'm gonna build a ship, so if no one's on, I'm still wanna build a ship. <laughs> so I figured this was a good time. Uh, what's this? Okay. So when you build in here, you have to have, you can use your kind of like your avatar to craft, but it can only craft a certain amount of things. So you gotta have these are called industries and they do different things. Uh, so this one will make like some some different parts, some you know windows, and it makes uh, ship parts like boosters and engines and stuff. Um, I think I need oh, I need one more of these. Let's make one of these, and then some of them just make parts to make other parts. It's there's a lot of complexity in their crafting system for whatever reason, but it's pretty fun. There's a lot of management to do with uh, different industries and containers and stuff, especially at first when you don't have a lot of industries or containers. Crafting takes an enormous amount of time, so I'm making one medium container and it's 
at least an hour and a half more before it's finished. <laughs> so, and it's been running for 30 minutes. So, two hours to craft one item is is pretty ridiculous. But I know they're trying to slow down. You know, they don't want it to be bogged down with everything. Ah, uh, someone's here. <laughs> Oh yeah, Astro it, it is kind of close to Astroneer. Uh, like Space Engineers, Astroneer... There's a couple different uh, games that are kind of a little bit similar. Um, and then you can build, you know... This is kind of more voxel-based building on your... Uh, your core. So you need cores to build on, and you get a certain amount of space. This one's really small. And half of it's underground because I messed up, but uh, it's okay. I don't need a huge building at first. And you, there's also like kind of pre-built things. Like these are pre-built. I have nothing on me, so these are these are pre-built little structures, the plants. But these are all voxels. You can kind of change the shapes and stuff. So I made some like pipes here with more rounded ones. Um, people do really insane type of things. I kind of made a little spout here. Um, nothing, uh, nothing fancy, but just uh, oh yeah. And then there, you know you can have curves. So there's a lot more to it than just blocks. You can make tons of shapes. You can make really intricate stuff, but it takes a very long time and a lot of skill to do it. So it's more of a slow paced game. Um, a very slow paced game and you probably need to work with people. I'm by myself right now, so it's pretty slow. Um, but I have some people I talk to, so I can join them. I've just been hesitant at uh, uh, joining people before I even have a good start. Okay, so what we're gonna do is build a spaceship and we gotta use a whole bunch of different parts. So I'll put, why does my link container say there's nothing in here? That's, that's not correct. That seems, that seems pretty bugged right now. The, the server is kind of buggy at the moment. So like, why is nothing showing up? Oh shit. <laughs> it's in beta, it's like the first week of beta, and it's been pretty rough. I think they're trying to get it out sooner than it, it needs to be. Um, but I guess they can't really tell with a whole bunch of... They need a lot of people to tell because everyone's on the same server, and like you can see... Where's the planet? Oh, is it too bright out? There's a planet somewhere. Oh, here we go. This is another planet. Uh, there's another moon. There's a lot of planets. There's like 10 planets and moons. Uh, I think there's more than that. Uh, maybe maybe like seven planets, but a whole bunch of moons. And you can you can fly from here to there, you know, and just just like this. And there's other people. There's other people right now working up there and over here, digging and building. And you could just go there without any load screens or anything. So that's pretty cool. It takes a long time. I mean, it's trying to make it feel pretty massive so it takes a it'll take not that long to get to here maybe an hour from the this is a moon this is this planet's moon that i'm on so take like an hour from here to there flying out but, you know ships can go faster or slower if you're carrying stuff or whatever if they're bigger uh, so we're gonna try to actually get there <laughs> because i want to get off the moon the moon you can only be in your your area so it's all based on hexagon so the green one's mine and the red ones are other people's claims and the white are no one claimed it yet but on the moon it's kind of like safe zone where you start so you no one can kill you here you just like uh you basically can build and start here but you want to get off this planet or this moon and get to the other planets so you can kind of mine freely because i can only get the material on my own hexagon so I need to go somewhere where I can get new resource 
when's the full launch? I have no idea. I think it's supposed to be 2021, but we'll see. We'll see what they do. Um, okay. So let's get started on building this, because that's what I want to do. But I can't see anything on me. This is so weird. Did I did I click something? Oh, I put tools. <laughs> I'm so silly. Okay, so I, I was showing just the tools and not everything I have. I thought it was just being glitchy. So let's get some of these material materials out. Uh, I need all of this basically. And I can't move that. Okay, I need the core first. So I'm gonna link. I have most of my stuff in here. So I'm gonna try building a ship to go to space. Right now, my this ship right here is just like one of those starter ships. I kind of added some stuff onto, but it just goes on the planet. So we need to build a big ship and this looks like a good spot right here because it's flat and clean so I need this container and oh, where's my core shit okay so everything needs to start with a core and I have one somewhere here we go so there's different kinds there's ones for buildings that like my building right here, that's a static core. And then dynamic core is for moving. So like ships, anything that moves has engines, ships. And then there's uh, space cores, which are space stations. They don't, they basically they stay still, but they can be built in space. Uh, and they don't move. So here we go. I got the core and I just place it onto my bar, oops. Huh? Oh, number five is to deploy this. So I put it here. I can name it. Uh, what am I gonna name it? Um, I don't know. What's a good name, Mr. M? <laughs> you don't want to leave it generic because then you're gonna forget what it is. Um, Da, da, da. <laughs> and give me a good name <laughs> this is like the hardest part about the whole building process is the name uh, here we go here we go there we go I kind of put it together make it uh, sound like it's something here we go mark one there we go makes it sound official I can always change it and we're going to lift this up first so we can take our maneuver tool where's this maneuver tool oh okay I gotta get out of building mode first we get the maneuver tool gonna lift it up just to give it some space come on go go okay let's try to pick it up a little bit more than that and try to get it straight okay that's pretty good. Okay, and now when I build, I can I can just kind of freely fly around in this area. So it's still a little crooked here. Let me fix that first. It's kind of hard to tell, but that should be better. Okay, and then this is the way that it's gonna face. So uh, I'm gonna just try to build with mostly mostly the parts first and see what I can do so I gotta put all the parts here bam bam these are all of our engines uh, atmospheric engines for the the land fly on the planet space engines can only go in space but atmospheric can't so you need both if you want to go in space here's some adjusters helps balance the ship what the hell these are brakes to stop the ship from flying. 
uh, stabilizer helps stabilize it and hover engines to hover and then we got some retro rocket brakes these are brakes in space and then we have some other parts um, like some boosters more brakes stabilizer engine okay so we got a bunch of parts so I want to make sure I had enough any other upcoming games I have my eye on I would like to play Hytale if that, I haven't even been keeping up with it but if that ever comes out that would be that would be pretty fantastic okay uh, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna build a ship I just know I want it to have a, a inside so that I can, I don't want it to have like a cockpit. I want it to have like more of a, a hole. I mean, uh, what's it called? A little, not a hole. Uh, is it? The place where you sit and there's like windows. It's okay. I'll show you later. So I can just place these objects here. I'm going to line them up and make sure they're good. You want to make sure everything's even because it matters in this game a lot. Uh, so I got two big engines there. I'm trying to think. Do I want? How do I want this set up? Boom. Because I think I'm gonna have the this come out a little bit and then have kind of two wings here, like not like coming forward, kind of like a. Star Wars looking thing and uh, and then have the cockpit area in the middle uh, so let me get some some blocks and the material matters so you have like you know wood and carbon steel a whole bunch of stuff uh, I'm gonna use the black carbon panel that I use for my house here so it's going to be this material right here the black one and where did i start building my ship oh my goodness I'm getting confused okay okay and I'm gonna so that's on a different tab and i can put that on there boom what oh it's on my other okay Move to slot. There we go. Okay, so let's bring this out. I'm trying to get just the outline here. Uh, let's see where the middle is. It's kind of too wide. Okay. Okay, come on, come on. It's a little bit difficult to build with this when you first doing it. Okay, now how far do I want to take it out? I don't want it to be that wide, but okay, let's get a good number here. Okay, 20. So that's at 20.5. So I can do negative 20.5 and that should be even. Okay, there's little numbers on this little white grid on the side. Hightail has been slow but promising. Yeah, I mean, it looks good. I'd definitely try it out. Um, I do like this game. I hope they keep improving on it and add some more stuff to it. Um, but it's pretty relaxing to build. It just takes a long time. So I kind of play it while watching some TV or something. And that seems to work out pretty well. Okay, so I think I want this shape to be kind of like this. Maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit cooler, but I mean, a little bit more curves to it, but I kind of want it to be, you know, this shape. Like that. And I think this is a little short, but I'll do something like that. And then maybe something, it's not gonna be squared like this. Uh, it'll, it'll have these two, two arms coming out. I'm just trying to make it even. Let's 
go to about 15. I think that looks too short. Let's do, let's do here. Right here. 13.5, okay. 13.5 and 13, negative 13.5. Okay. So I think something like, like this. And then we'll take this part out. in the center. If you hold down Alt for anything, it, it deletes. It's like the undo button, just holding Alt. And then have something in the middle here where I have kind of a hole. Ooh, it'd be nice to drop it down like this. Like, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I don't want it on top. That looks like an alien. This would be cool. Okay, so if I drop it down here, like this. Da, 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 da. No, what you doing? Come down here. What if I drop it down and kind of sail? It feels kind of like a helicopter a little bit. But we're going to space, space copter. Oh, I can't even, can't even tag this. There we go. Okay, boom, boom, boom. And then you know we could be sit, we can be sitting on here. This would be kind of cool. Boom. Okay. This is my shape so far. <laughs> kind of these two wings and uh, something to sit in here. And then I might have, just to balance it, I might have something coming. I might have this part coming in the back and that can be like a, uh, maybe storage go back there or something, a resurrection pod, something like that. Boom, boom, yep, that wasn't even, okay. Just to give it some balance and then some forward here for the, the hole, you know. I might even come in one just to, let me start giving it some curves, okay. I want it about here, okay. All right. And then I'll drop it down I was thinking this comes up maybe, and this drops down a little bit right here. You know, have a have a way to get in. I'm just doing this freestyle. I didn't really think about it. <laughs> okay, so we'll do. This looks good. So the, one of the tools that's pretty cool is the line tool. Uh, I need I need something down here first, but it'll give me a good a good line that I don't have to work too too hard for. Boom. Boom. And boom. Okay. And then I'll bring this out like where I want it. a little bit too much. Boom, I'll do it from here. Okay, get rid of that. And then I can use my line tool like this and it should make this quite, quite easy for me. Boom, like that. Okay, and then I go on the back, do the same thing. Boom. And then, sha, like that. And that kind of messed up right there, but it's okay. We can fix that and add some detail to it. Maybe I add a different color there. Um, and then I'll probably get rid of part of this or part of this so I can, I can get up and down inside here. And then the hole will be over here. I think I'll have some glass. So, I'll try to do this, hold on, let's see. The line tool can be kind of wonky like this, I don't know why. I think I have to hold shift, I think that's what I learned, shift, and then you get, you get paste dominance or something, boom. Did that work better? No, that did not. Shift, I'm pretty sure, is it shift or is it alt? 
Nope, it's still doing this weird thing. Okay. Try Alt on this side. See if it does anything different. Boom. No. Looks looks terrible. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, I'm, I think I'm a little off on this one. I think it's because that's not straight. Oh yeah. Gotta go here. Does it look wonky? Is yeah, they're both wonky in the the not the right places. <laughs> It's like not the same. This one's a little bit weird over here. Okay, I'll try to do something shorter then. Can I get rid of that one? God damn. <laughs> oh, there we go, all right. I think I gotta make a, I think it's too sharp of a, an incline for that, so. We will try to help it out. Coming out like this. Okay, and then now oh, let's try it here to here. Wow, that looks like stairs. <laughs> you know that's okay though. I can I can I can fill that in. Nah, you know what? It's kind of wonky. I don't understand. <laughs> this line tool is kind of messed up. I think I just got to make my own lines there. I think if it's short, the line tool works really well, but the bigger ones does not work. Okay. So let me try to make this kind of a shape. So a lot of people will, I haven't learned it quite yet, but they will, let's say, uh, They'll like make a big, a big one of these. So, oh my God, I'm still getting used to this. Control, okay, so they make like a big one and then they just take out a smaller portion. If that makes any sense. Boom, okay, boom, nope. Boom, nope. Okay, so it's like this, can I, oh, there we go. This looks like this. So do do this sound like this, and then they will take a smaller version. Pretty sure. Why is it red? Okay, so they'll take like a smaller version like this, and then they'll. Nope. Come on! Come on! Come on! I think I can rotate this. There we go. Boom. It doesn't look... <laughs> I don't know how they do it. That seems pretty complex. What the fuck? What the hell did I just do? Okay, so I think uh, I kind of did it. Right? They kind of do something like that. I don't know if I did it right, but this is looking weirder now that I'm trying to do it like this, but I think I gotta get rid of this. And then, cause I want this open. You know, I'm gonna have glass right here. So it's kind of like a helicopter, <laughs> but with these kind of wings and engines on the wings. So I'm trying to just get the baseline of what I want. Okay. So this will be in the back for some storage, I think. Now we gotta we gotta make sure it can fit everything on here. So I was thinking, do I do? So I want to try to hide everything. I don't want it to be it just look like a whole bunch of parts together. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm thinking actually I can have the, what, what are these called? I can have hover engines here on the back and then I can have the boosters here, hopefully. Where's my boosters? Let's see if, if this will look good. I don't even know how big these are. They could be way too big. Okay, let's go to the, the booster. And we'll try... See. Oh, actually, these are perfect. Wow, this is... That's fantastic. That is... This is like perfect size. All right? Let's do like that. This is, this is fantastic. I can't believe I made it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look how perfect that is for size. Okay, bam. We'll have those kind of helping to lift it up in the front. And then we will have the hover engines coming out the back. So I might do one and one. Like this. Get that straight. I think that's pretty good. And then the other one coming here. Did I make this perfect too? Look at that, guys. Look at, look at that. Look at, look at. <laughs> like one more, one more space and I can't do it. Okay. See if I go one more space up, I can't do it. So that was perfect again. That's very interesting. Boom. Okay, I think that's pretty good. And then... So those will be our hover. And they're blinking yellow because they're not hooked up to any any fuel tanks yet. Oh, 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 that's what I can do back here. I can I can make sure the fuel goes back here. Where's the fuel tanks? Oh wait, where's my fuel tanks? They must still be inside. I'm gonna go grab those. Ooh, handyman. Okay, I like it so far. Um, of course, it needs a lot of work, but I can kind of see where it's, the shape is going. Self-destructing. <laughs> uh, I think it's in here. Okay, we got one more Arion. Arion? Arion? We need this big one, too. Can I go in here? Can we go in here? No, it's that big. Okay, so I have other, I have other, oh, I gotta take my seat out too. That's right. I'm so excited to build this right now. Commander seat, there we go. I'll, I'll bring both. And I think I just need these small glass panels. And what else I need? Oh, oh, I think they're they're here in this box. This <laughs> was randomly. Okay, I got more adjusters, wings. Here's my fuel tanks. I got, look at my parts. <laughs> so many parts. Uh, boom, and my wings. Wings, I said. Wings. Are they going? Okay, they went. A little bit of lag on the server. Okay, let's go back to our build. This is looking like uh, some sort of weird military, future military uh, plane. But I like it. Let's, let's, let's get in there. Uh, okay, I want to make sure I got my commander seat. Okay. Come on, commander seat. Let's go. In the wrong container. I want to have at least two seats in here, if not four, so I can dual purpose it as a, either a cargo ship or a transport ship for people. I can see this game going really far in the future because um, it's really open. I can see it being a mix between like Eve and. Um, What's it called? Uh, 
da, 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 and uh, Entropia Universe, where there's kind of like real money involved and real industries, because everything takes time. So I think I think they're going for a certain thing, and I, I think it might be working for them. Okay, so I think that's where I want my cockpit to be, and I'll probably carve out some window space here on the side too, and throw in some of these windows here. I want to make sure everything's looking good as I do it. I know I'm kind of out of order. I'm not like doing all the elements. I'm just trying to get the base of everything down just to make sure. So yeah, this looks pretty good. I think I just need a smaller space. Yeah, I think I need a little bit smaller. Or I got to go in like this, which is, that's okay. Like that. Gotta make sure I can fit three. If not, it's gonna be two with one. Yeah, see, this one sticks out. Okay, so. Yeah, it's. Oh, oh, I can overlap it. I did not know that. Why does it let me overlap it? This one's kind of. It looks weird though. do this one too then. Gotta line it up with this. Boom. That does not look right. Okay. Come on, line up. This is the hardest part about this game right now. There we go. I think I gotta do something like that so it kinda overlaps. Which is okay, actually. That kind of just looks like a pattern. Or I have to try to narrow it down to two, like a two wide. Know what I'm gonna do? Nah, I don't want it to be like that. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do this like this. Get rid of all this. Boom, boom. And then I'm just gonna cover up on the sides. Like I'll just, I'll put more blocks here. I don't care. It's bothering me. Boom. 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 Okay. So I think I think that's good. That's not good. That's not what I wanted. Here. But why is this one not? Oh, it's kind of uneven. My OCD. You can't really see it anyway. <laughs> you can only see it at the side. So I think it's okay. I think we're fine. Um, I'm gonna take this out. Fill this in here. Okay, and then probably try to do. Uh, Where's that other? Okay, here. Try to do something a little bit more neat here. Why can't I rotate it? Takes a little bit of finesse. You gotta get used to it. Okay. Let me just get a little, little curve here. And then I'll try to curve this. I might redo the windows. It's okay. Uh, I just wanted to kind of put it in and see what it looks like. Because I need some on the side too. When I'm in space. I don't really need them on the side. But I'll do them. And then I need a place to get in and out. So actually, I might make the place to get in here, in the back. Okay. okay, 
so let's see how this is looking so far. It's pretty cramped in here. I can't even walk through the side. Okay. <laughs> how did I get stuck? Okay. So I might need to make this one wide. One one wider. I think that's I came in here because I'm trying to make a shape, but I think it's actually better to move everything out one. So easiest way to do this is to select everything from here to here. Right here? Where was it? Here, here, here. Okay, and then up to here. We take all of that and we move. Oh, I need only half of this. God damn. So we gotta do both sides. I'll select everything here in this area, and we will go out one with them. Boom. And we're going to delete it. And we're gonna try to get this back in place. I'm sure there's probably some good tr tips and tricks to get this where you want it easier, but I'm gonna bring mine out like this. Just make sure that's right. Then go one back, right? Uh, no, that looks good, right? I think I think that's it. Or do I gotta go one down? I think that's it right there. Yeah. Okay. Boom. And I can actually do the same thing here and just get rid of this. Boom, boom, boom. This is why I kind of half build everything so that I know if I'm I don't want to. I don't want to do so much, and then it all kind of goes to shit because I messed up one little thing. Okay. Jesus. I'm gonna select everything again because that seemed to be easier. <laughs> and there goes that. Go away. All right, Mr. M. Take care. What? What the hell? No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. That's not what was supposed to happen. Should have just controlled the exit again. So I just made myself do a little bit more work because I undid that back one and I don't know how to unredo it. So I'll do this. do this again because I messed up. We'll select this and all of that and all of this and X control X we can do like that. Actually we can leave it like this because it kind of will make a better shape for the front anyway. Boom. Now I kind of mess this stuff up here. Just find that. Curve it off. Oh, that looks better than that. off not enough material oh I 
think I was selected the wrong thing. I think that looks good. Okay, there we go. And I should be able to move more. And then I have to reline these windows because now I'm kind of one off. Or maybe I'm right on there. Okay, so let's make sure I can move in here. And I can't because of this. So gotta take this out. A lot of these are kind of wasted voxels anyway. I don't need I don't need these anymore. It's just for framing. these ones too. Okay, I think that's good. I think that we got that those two to, to go. And I'm gonna try to make some kind of different Oh okay let's do this. Let's just kind of fill this in from the bottom. interesting shape but I actually don't mind it there you go. I don't mind it it's kind of cool okay I'm not gonna be super picky the voxels are quite hard to work with so until I get super good I'm gonna keep it as you know this. Boom. Okay. And we'll do the last little part here. Actually, I might uh, I just might do some breaks here or something to cover that up. What was this on this side? here and I stop one behind the pillar. Boom. Okay, and then we'll try to pull this back. Bam, look at that. Okay. Things looking pretty good. Everything's looking pretty smooth. We have this little section here that we have to either cover up or find something else to cover it up with. I need to make my engines. I'm deciding whether I put my engines here on the wings, underneath the wings, or in the back. I still have a lot of things I need to do. Okay, Let's see what these brakes look like. They're pretty big. I just put these here because I need them anyway. Boom. Okay, they need to go one back. So maybe up like this. There we go. Boom. And I think that's about right. Okay, so they seem about right. So I think that'll help break down. So I think what that does is when I'm landing, it'll help slow my descent down going towards the earth. 
I could be wrong. They could have changed stuff. Alpha was pretty weird. Um, and then I can have brakes on the side here as well. I'm just trying to find a good spot because I'm wondering if I want to have windows here or not. I can always put these kind of on the sides here. And okay, I'll do those later. I just want to cover up that spot here. Start to see the shape. I might make two more of these uh, vertical boosters and put them, or even ah, depends on how many I want to make. Um, biggest thing right now is figuring out where to put my my fuel tanks. Boom and boom. I just made small ones. I'm trying to decide if I'm regretting that or not. I think two of each is fine for this purpose. I'm only going to carry two small containers, so it should be okay. And I think I'll have these, on, I mean, I kind of need them on the outside and just have some access to them for the inside. It's just the same way. This one, okay, like this, I think. And that was pretty far off, okay. <laughs> okay, now they're on, and I gotta do the other guys. These are for the atmospheric engines. And I'm thinking to put these right behind these guys. So, there we go. them like this and I think that's okay put this line on top just for whatever for consistency and I think that's pretty good okay I'm trying to keep everything even be surprised how easy it is to make them not even and I, I do have these small engines. I don't know if I'm going to use them on here. I might. Um, and just have them kind of running off the back here. Like this. You know. And they're just, they're, you know, they're just kind of extra. There we go. Have these coming off the back. And I might get two more of these and put them on. It might be overkill, but we'll see. Um, and then we have two more of these. Actually, we have like four more of these big ones, but uh, I'm deciding still where they go. Do I put them like this, kind of help protect the, the fuel lines? Or I put them in the back here. Kind of even the weight out. This is going to be enclosed back here. I want some sort of walking space. I might move these hovercrafts down more. Kind of in my space when I'm walking. See, I got a low headroom. So I'm going to bring these down a little bit. I have more of like a area where I can come inside while I'm in the, and then, you know, be able to fuel up and do any repairs from the inside as well. I think I might do this for now. This is gonna make the design look weird though. Where do I put them on the outside more? We'll see. Right now, for now, I'm just gonna leave them here. Just to give them a, give them a home. I may end up just moving these back kind of want to hide these ones, you know, and then have these ones maybe can show a little bit, but have some protected engines just in case there's some PVP going on somewhere. I'm hoping this flies because this is, I've never did my core like this where 
the core is kind of sitting here and then there's a lot of weight below I think it'll be okay I think um, so we did those let me move these guys down right now boom boom down centered and down like this thing like that's okay Boom. just try to get in here I think it's even no this one gotta get down okay so I think that's pretty good gives me a little bit more walking space I can Put some tiles like this. Uh, I might use different tile uh, color on the inside, but it, this will all be covered. we really need are you don't really need hovers but they help a lot the hovers and the boosters um, you need your engines you need some tanks you need a, a cockpit or some kind of something to control the ship and you need brakes and if you're going in space you need space brakes and then we have these things called adjusters and they help they help keep the whole ship stable. So they're kind of like right now they're a little bit overpowered. I don't know why. They seem to be pretty overpowered. We're going to put a whole bunch of these on. I feel like it never hurts to have too many of these. Boom. And then we'll go to the other side and we'll do the same thing. I have some bigger ones. These are the small ones. I have some bigger ones I'll throw on as well. Okay. So I need more. I need to make some more of these. But uh, these adjusters. So I need to make some small adjusters. I need like. I don't know, I'll make 10 more, but this is for later. Probably put a couple down here just for, for display too, just to have some elements, kind of like headlights and stuff. Um, and then I have my big space engine, which I think can go in the back. somewhere in the back here. So these are kind of here temporarily in the back here so I'm gonna I'll change them around like this one's not even right. It's not even on there the right way. I'm just trying to figure out a shape I can use. I want it to look nice but gotta be functional in this game too. It's still have more of these. I could put another one, a fifth one. Usually if I'm doing cargo, I try to put a lot of these boosters going down, and that way I get some upwards boost. Um, but they're kind of useless otherwise. And I have wings I need to throw on here, and a stabilizer. And the big, the big adjusters that I need. So I got my wings, I got my adjusters, and Oh, these are also like wings, ailerons. Okay, stabilizer, and where's my, oh, that's a small one. And these ailerons, okay. So 
Uh, these ones. Wow, this is the small one? Jesus, this one's huge. <laughs> these are huge. Oh my goodness. Oh god, I thought they were smaller. I might have to make my wing I might have to take these these things out to here. I might have to do that. Or you know what? I can just have something go from this edge and bring curve it in. That I think that's fine. Do the same thing here. Why is this not letting me? Okay. Boom. Okay, so I'll fix that curve with those as well. So this kind of curves in. Uh, that means I can probably take these guys off for now. One, two, okay. The last two. Which is okay, because it'll make this even. Boom. Boom. Okay. I'll have some brakes that, that go on top of here as well, uh, going this way. So they'll be on top of here to help slow down the whole thing, and probably some on top. And we have this stabilizer, which is humongous. That's gonna make it look so weird though. Okay, I definitely don't want this on here. This is so big. Okay, let's try the let's try to meet the small one. Maybe that looks Okay. I mean that looks a lot better, but I don't want it there. I'll have it on you know, I'll have it kinda down in the back somewhere. Try to hide it. Because this will be this this top this part right here will kind of all be encased, and I need to put a a small container back here. And I was hoping I could put a resurrection pod, but maybe not. I might have to move these guys out more, um, or think of some some clever way to do this. Oh, that's kind of wonky. Some things with the building, it's kind of weird. Sometimes things disappear. Okay, so I can I can walk here. I can get my, my storage here. I might have to just make this a little bit longer for the resurrection pod. Or I just have it right here, and it's kind of like <laughs> everything's crammed. So I can fix, I can fuel up from the inside and I'll be able to fuel up on the outside and fix my engines, all the main engines from the inside. Um, and then I think I have an exit. I don't know if I can make an exit here. I might have to make it. Hmm. I might have to make a door somewhere. Maybe two doors in the back here that open up. And. Or on the side, actually, maybe the side here. So instead of windows, it'll be doors. Maybe laser barrier or something. Um, yeah, that's it. Or or I can make kind of a little bit of a walkway on the edge of the wings here. Right here, you know, kind of make expand this out a little bit. So I have a little bit more room to move on the inside. Uh, you know, that looks pretty good for right now. Alright, I'm going to end the stream. And I uh, just wanted to give a quick stream, test it out. The uh, uh, game's been doing pretty pretty good so far. Uh, they have a lot of trouble on the server side. But otherwise, I think it's, think it's doing pretty good. I like it. I'm having fun. So, I'll do another live stream soon. And update you guys on this build. And tell you what I did with it. Um, but kind of see how you start building in the game and the parts you need. Uh, basically all the parts you need here. You just you know, obviously fill up your fuel tanks and then you would connect everything with the connection tool. So 
I didn't do this yet because I'm not set on everything, but we would we would go to the six, I guess it is, and you would just link this up. So these are atmospheric tanks. Usually I'm gonna do anything on this side goes to the tank on this side. Any any engine on this side I'm gonna you know just to make it even. You don't want one tank going out before the other. Um, and yeah, of course, this one goes here, and this one will go on this side. If I have anything in the middle, I try to either have a third tank or I try to have I try to have two of them in the center. So I gotta think about that. Um, and of course, these hover pods, same thing. Oh, the vertical boosters use space fuel. Is that always like that? Anyway, so they'll use the space fuel. And this one I'll keep blank for right now. As well, we gotta do the hovercraft engine. So I just take one and one. They're in the center, so just remember which side you did the other one at. And boom, and now it's all even. Now I can actually try to fly this thing um, I don't have enough brakes on here though, so I'm not gonna do it. But that's it. I'm gonna finish out, you know, the shape of everything, make some curves on here, make this look beautiful. Uh, maybe extend these wings out so that I have a little bit more walking room and put some doors to enter and exit. Um, and then put a small container back here and maybe a resurrection pod in the center and that's it it'll be pretty simplistic um, this is just to get me to that other planet and back that's the main planet Alioth and uh, it's right here I'm gonna go there start a new home all right guys I'll see you next time thank you for joining the live stream sorry this was a pretty pretty somber one but it's pretty early for me and it's been a while but fun nonetheless if you like this leave a comment down below uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content give me give me some motivation and uh, i'll see you guys next time peace